नेशनल एजुकेशन पॉलिसी 2020 व्हाई हरियाणा हैज एडवांस्ड इट्स डेडलाइन बाय फाइव इयर्स हाउ इट एम्स टू इंप्लीमेंट इट लॉन्चिंग द एन ई पी सी एम खाटार सेड दैट इट विल बी कम्प्लीटली इंप्लीमेंटेड इन द स्टेट बाय द ईयर 2025 थाउजेंड अगेंस्ट द डेडलाइन ऑफ 2030 Haryana aims to track every child by reducing the dropout rate in schools. Haryana government Friday launched the National Education Policy 2020 with Chief Minister Manohar Lal Khattar saying it will be implemented by 2025 instead of 2030 the deadline given to the states. He said the government will try to bring the school dropout rate to zero. Varinder Bhatia explains the salient features of the NEP what Haryana has already been achieved and the current status of education infrastructure in the state how Haryana aims to advance NEP implementation deadline by 5 years launching the NEP CM Khattar said it will be completely implemented in the state by the year 2025 as against the deadline of 2030 Haryana aims to track every child by reducing the dropout rate in schools. For this, data analysis of every family member registered under the Parivar Pehchan Patra will be done so that every child can be tracked and enrolled in school. Khattar said the infrastructure required for implementing the NEP 2020 in Haryana has already been prepared with an aim to empower the students with knowledge, skills and values by imparting quality education. A school within 2 to 3 km distance and college within every 20 km radius is being set up. What is the current status of higher education infrastructure in Haryana? Besides one central university, Haryana has 10 state universities, 23 private universities, 849 colleges including 172 government colleges with 1,96,845 students on rolls. Besides, there are 97 government-aided colleges and 87 self-financing degree colleges. In 1966, Haryana had only four government polytechnics, two aided polytechnics and one regional engineering college at Kurukshetra with an annual intake of 1341 students. The state now has four state technical universities, 90 engineering colleges, four government, nine state university run and 77 private with intake capacity of 24,345 students. 202 polytechnics d farm institution 39 government four aided and 159 private with 37525 intake capacity 7 br institution two government pri- private and 420 intake capacity and 66 b pharmacy institutions eight government and 58 private with 4740 intake capacity How is Haryana emphasizing on school education to meet NEP targets? The government claims that the enrollment in state run school has increased by 7.3% in 2021-22 compared to the previous session. At least 1.6 lakh students have shifted from private to government schools. Under the PARC guidelines, Haryana has taken steps to improve quality of assessment under a special program about 30000 out of school children were identified of which 86% have been integrated in government schools in 2021 free education is provided to students of all categories economically weaker sections from class 9 to 12 about 6 lakh students in class 3 to 8 from 8400 schools are expected to benefit from shaksham yuva yojana which was launched for upliftment and welfare of the unemployed but educated youth the annual budget for current fiscal has allocated rupees 700 crore to be spent on technology based education Vocational education will be imparted to at least 50% of the students in 50 Daksha Kendra set up in schools. Also the first of its kind Super 100 scheme was launched to provide boarding facilities and free coaching to aspire to aspirants preparing for JEE, IIT and NEET. How far has Haryana achieved meeting NEP's targets? The government says it has already achieved most of the deliverables like large multidisciplinary universities and colleges with at least one in or near every district. 
incorporating set of skills and values at each level of learning by revamping curriculum, pedagogy, assessment, and student support, light but tight regulation, and setting up of more colleges. In terms of multidisciplinary education and research, Haryana has adopted the concept in eight state universities including in Ambala, Charkhidadri, Fatehabad, Nu, Panipat, Panchkula, Yamunanagar and Jhajar. Kurukshetra University and MDU Rohtak has already implemented choice-based credit system. The state universities are also adopting the criteria regarding one-year master's program who have completed four-year bachelor, two-year program who have completed three years bachelor and integrated five year bachelor's master's program. About 4,000 playway schools will be opened focusing on early age education since the age of three, as enshrined in the NEP 2020. So far, 1135 such schools have already been opened. A total of 113 new Sanskrit model schools have been opened for imparting education in English and facilities on the lines of private schools, which has increased their number to 137. Besides this, 1480 schools are being upgraded to English medium bag free. Another goal of NEP 2020 is to make the gross enrollment ratio of girls in higher education more than 50% by the year 2030. In Haryana is currently pegged at 32%. In terms of setting up institution imparting education from KG to PG courses, Kurukshetra University has already started preparation to begin it from this academic year, while three other universities MD Rotak, BP, SMB, Kanpur, Kalan and DCRUST Murthal will be implementing it between 2022 and 2025. For setting up startup incubators in higher education institutions and polytechnics, five incubators have already been set up. For promoting equity and inclusion, in higher education, 61 co girl colleges have been set up and free transport facility is being provided to girl students. How the state plans to impart skill development education in schools? A goal of the NEP 2020 is to impart professional and skill education to children from class 6 onwards. Arrangements have been made to make children proficient in various skills in schools itself. A separate Sri Vishwakarma Kausal Vishwavidyalaya for imparting skill development has been has already been opened. It has forged strong links with industry and 94 MOUs has been signed. The university offers 34 diploma undergraduate and postgraduate programs and 4755 students have been trained through short duration and regular courses. New courses have been identified by the university and preparations are being made to impart skill training to about 71,000 youth. A new ambitious scheme Passport Sahayata has been launched to make the students aware of employment opportunities abroad and in the universities and colleges outside India under which passports are being given free of cost to all final year students. At least 25 students trained under Super 100 program have cleared JE this year and has made it to the merit list to get admission in IIT. Similarly, 72 youth have cleared the NEET exam and got admission in medical colleges, Khatar said. Thank you.